So let's take a look at her abilities. Her passive makes her deal bonus magic damage with auto attacks for every 6 ability power and gives her more spell damage for every 6 attack damage. Her Q throws a shuriken at the target dealing magic damage and also leaves the target marked for a few seconds and that mark can be exploded with an auto attack with E dealing bonus magic damage. Her W creates a smoke cloud for a few seconds in which Akali is stilted while not attacking and she gains bonus armor and magic resistance. Also enemies that pass through are slowed. Her E deals physical damage to all the enemies around her. Her ultimate dashes at the enemy, dealing magic damage. Uh, you gain 3 stacks over time and also you gain 1 stack for every kill or assist. For summoner spells I recommend Flash and Ignite. I recommend this master is focusing on ability power and some resistance. For runes, most of the times I go full AP because you get a lot of sustain from life steal and spell them, but you don't really need defense. But if the lane is harder, you can go with defensive runes as well. Also good marks are marks of hybrid penetration. For items, most of the times I start with boots and potions, you can also start with Doran's shield or blade if you want to, but I like to start like this to give a little extra mobility in early game, so you can hit your last hits and get the targets. Then the first buy should be Hexter Revolver, then get really light to be a little more tanky. And then upgrade to Sorcerer's Boots, upgrade to your core item Hex, the Gunblade, it's very good, Spell Vamp and Lifesteal. Get Rabadon's Leech Bane stacks well with your Q. And for defensive item as a final item I recommend either Zonia or uh, Guardian's Angel. Void Staff is also a good item. Now let's get to the final part of the guide, the gameplay. I'm going to show you some ticks and trips of how to play her. And gameplay from ranked games, from gold. So first off let's start with a demonstration. A pentakill, my first pentakill from season 4. It was around the, I think the 5th game I played. And I got a really nice pentakill here. So, I'm going to show you in the course of the gameplay some tips and tricks, tell you how to play her, what to do, what not to do. One of the hardest things with Akali, especially in early game, is farming, so try to hit the minions with Q. Keep in mind that in early game, she's really weak. Until level 6 she's pretty weak so don't engage targets unless you are certain you can deal more damage than they can or if you are certain you can get a kill. You can harass with Q, use the Q then explode it if you can get to the target. If not, put a pool in the middle of the, the lane and try to just farm or harass the enemy with Q and if you can catch him, throw Qs and then explode them with an E or an auto attack then go back to your pool. and. Is very Akali is very good champion against squishy champions most of the times, so it's uh, an easy lane for you if you pick someone like like Lux or Annie or something very squishy. Also, another good thing is that she's got a lot of sustain, especially in late game, from your extra gun blade and from your abilities, from your passive. So if you are dying, just attack, and you will regenerate very fast. There are a lot of situations where. I would have died if I didn't just spam my abilities on enemies, so that's a good thing to do. Also you can escape with your pool, if you are outnumbered use your pool, so you can hide as you can see here I regenerated from my abilities and hide from that pool, so it's a good thing. You can also escape with your pool or you can uh, use it to slow down enemies if you want to chase them or run after them. Also good is that you can use your ultimate on minions, so you can chase your enemies like that or run from enemies and you got a really good burst your combo should be like if the target is far jump on him with your ultimate then use a Q and explode it with an E or an auto attack and keep using ultimates use Q ultimate Q ultimate until they die keep in mind that if you get a kill or an assist with the ultimate in that fight you can use it again or after, 10, or after 10 seconds you can also get a stack and one good thing you need to do one of the most important things you need to do is roam a lot when you get level 6 if you have a good opportunity on bot or on top just go ahead and just get some kills if you get fed early you're gonna own but you can also get fed in late game that's what I like on Akali you can get fed whenever you would like Whenever you can, and also in late game, use Leech Bane on um, Durets and Nexus inhibitors. Just throw an E or a an W, and then you get a stack and you can use it on your next uh, auto attack. In team fights, what's good that you can do is to try to jump and assassinate 
the AD carry and the mid. So if there are squishy champions in the enemy team, just try to get to them. It's easy to get to them. You can ultimate on them. Or if they're too far, just flash and ultimate on them. Or put a pool in the middle of the fight, go in that pool and wait to uh, get closer to the squishy champions. If not, just attack with the rest of your team, get to everyone dead fast and then focus what's left. Depends on the situation really, but if you can, it's good to assassinate uh, the AD carry and the AP carry because you'll assassinate them very quick. Just a simple burst and they're all dead. Um, and you'll also get another ultimate to jump on the other targets. So, it's very easy. And your sustain will keep you alive in the fights, most of the times. But if not guard, you can get Guardian's Angel as well, or pop Zonia to escape. Also get... Uh, don't remember to use Hexa Gunblade. It deals quite a lot of damage and slows the target, so it's easier for you to catch them. And... Yep. I think that's it. I hope these guys help you. you. I got a lot of comments on the previous guide with people getting pentakills. Just try what I told you now. Try the build and try to do what I told you. And I hope it will work out for you. And thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I'll do more if the guide is successful and people like it. I'll do more for other champions. Here's a nice pentakill from the preseason I did. One of the best things I did with Akali. And I hope you enjoyed this. And see you soon. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more guides.